सो हेलो गाइज अथर्व हियर सो हियर वी हैव क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री फ्रॉम सेकेंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग एक्सरसाइज ऑफ द चैप्टर रोटेशनल मैकेनिक्स फ्रॉम पाथ फाइंडर सो सो फर्स्ट लेट्स ट्राई टू लुक एट द क्वेश्चन यूनिफॉर्म डिस्क रोटेटिंग अबाउट इट्स वर्टिकल एक्सेस ऑफ सिमेट्री इज जेंटली प्लेस ऑन अ हॉर्जेंटल फ्लोर विथ वन ऑफ इट्स फ्लैट फेसेज ऑन द फ्लोर द फ्लो हैज टू पोर्शन वेर कोफिशेंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द डिस्क एंड द फ्लो आर म्यू वन इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन एट एंड म्यू टू इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन कंसिडर द लाइन डिवाइडिंग द टू पोर्शन एज वाई एक्सेस एंड द पॉइंट वेर द सेंटर ऑफ डिस्क इज प्लेस एज द ओरिजिन ऑफ अ कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम नेशन ऑन द फिगर फाइंड एक्सलेशन ऑफ द सेंटर ऑफ द डिस्क इमीडिएटली आफ्टर इट इज प्लेस ऑन द फ्लो एज्यूम एक्सलेशन ऑफ फ्री फॉल टू बी जी इक्वल्स टू टेन मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर एंड पाई इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी टू ओवर सेवन so if you want to give this question a try uh, you can do it now and i would like to tell you that uh, this question is pretty simple but uh, the ideas used in this question will be very important uh, to the nec- next question in this exercise the question number 24 from check and understanding which i will post just after this so uh, please pay, uh, pay attention to this this one so uh, if you want the hint here it is Uh, I'm giving the same hint as uh, given in the end of the book. Try integrating by uh, taking small uh, concentric rings by calculation, calculation, calculating force on each. So if you want to give it a try again, uh, you can do it now. So yeah, now let's look at the solution. So the solution of the problem is pretty straightforward, but uh, this one is important to imbibe ideas, which will be required uh, just as I said for the next question. and we'll use one basic assumption here that the whole disk will be pressing uniformly against the whole surface which means that the uh, normal force per unit area on the disk will be uh, constant so let's consider the forces on the two parts in two different uh, regions separately so we have basically considered this region which has a uh, coefficient of friction mu2 and this region which has coefficient of friction mu1 separately so here uh, we can consider as this and so let's consider the right region right part first so first of all let's consider the right part and in this let's consider two symmetrical pieces at a distance r from the center and at an angle theta above and below the horizontal line of symmetry so we have considered two pieces this one and this one uh, theta degree above and below the line of symmetry and th- which are at a distance of r so now here uh, we can observe that the force due to the friction on each piece will be same as they have the same area and will be uh, in direction opposite to their velocities as shown in the by the orange arrows so the velocities of these pieces will be omega r in the tangential direction and uh, so the friction force will be opposite to this velocity and is shown by these yellow or orange arrows so and from here we can clearly see that the horizontal components cancel out with each other leaving only leaving only the vertical components so from here we can see that this angle is equals to this angle so the vertical component will be uh, of both will be uh, same and while the horizontal component will cancel so only the uh, vertical component will survive in the final expression so now the vertical components can be integrated to get the net force on this part as shown so here i have written a dfy to be equals to twice of mu1 times dmg cos theta which is a uh, uh, which is the horizontal component here cos theta comes due to the horizontal component and dm can be written as uh, m by pi r square which is the mass per unit area of the uh, disk times uh, the small area uh, small area of this element which will be dr times r d theta so uh, and uh, we integrate this over theta and r from theta equals to 0 to pi by 2 and r equals to 0 to r so this can be integrated simply and uh, integrating theta and r one by one we get that fy equals to mu1 mg by pi you can go through the calculations yourself and similarly by exact same arguments for the left part we find that uh, its net force will be directed downwards and will have value fy equals to mu2 mg by pi so from here we can see that uh, the uh, yellow arrows are directed in this way and again the horizontal forces will cancel leaving only the vertical component but here this time it will be directed downward so it it has a negative sign so net acceleration just after uh, leaving it will be uh, so the net force will be mu on mg by pi minus mu 2 mg by pi so from here we get that the net acceleration just after leaving it will be uh, dividing this over mass so this will be the final acceleration 
so yeah that, this was a pretty straightforward question but uh, these ideas will be necessary in the next question so hope you all like the video please like share and subscribe thank you